Exodus chapter 19 Arrival at Sinai In the third month after the Israelites Departure from the land of Egypt On the first day They came to the wilderness of Sinai After they made the journey from Rephidim And entered the wilderness of Sinai They then pitched camp in the wilderness while Israel was encamped there in front of the mountain. Moses went up to the mountain of God. Then the Lord called to him from the mountain, saying, This is what you will say to the house of Jacob. Tell the Israelites. You have seen how I treated the Egyptians. And how I bore you up on eagles' wings. And brought you to myself. Now. If you obey me completely and keep my covenant, you will be my treasured possession among all peoples. Though all the earth is mine, you will be to me a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. That is what you must tell the Israelites. So Moses went and summoned the elders of the people. When he set before them all that the Lord had ordered him to tell them, all the people answered together. Everything the Lord has said, we will do. Then Moses brought back to the Lord, the response of the people. The Lord said to Moses, I am coming to you now in a dense cloud, so that when the people hear me speaking with you, they will also remain faithful to you. When Moses, then, had reported the response of the people to the Lord. The Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and have them sanctify themselves. Today and tomorrow, have them wash their garments, and be ready for the third day. For on the third day the Lord will come down, on Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people set limits for the people all around, saying, Take care not to go up the mountain, or even to touch its edge. All who touch the mountain must be put to death. No hand shall touch them, but they must be stoned to death or killed with arrows. Whether human being or beast, they must not be allowed to live. Only when the ram's horn sounds, May they go up on the mountain. Then Moses came down from the mountain to the people and had them sanctify themselves. And they washed their garments. He said to the people, Be ready for the third day. Do not approach a woman, the great Theophany. On the morning of the third day, there were peals of thunder and lightning and a heavy cloud over the mountain, and a very loud blast of the chauffeur, so that all the people in the camp trembled. But Moses led the people out of the camp to meet God, and they stationed themselves at the foot of the mountain. Now Mount Sinai was completely enveloped in smoke, because the Lord had come down upon it in fire. The smoke rose from it as though from a kill. And the whole mountain trembled violently. The blast of the chauffeur grew louder and louder. While Moses was speaking and God was answering him with thunder. When the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai to the top of the mountain, the Lord summoned Moses to the top of the mountain. And Moses went up. Then the Lord told Moses, Go down and warn the people, not to break through to the Lord in order to see him. Otherwise many of them will be struck down. For their part, the priests, who approach the Lord must sanctify themselves. Else the Lord will break out in anger against them. But Moses said to the Lord, the people cannot go up to Mount Sinai. For you yourself warned us, saying, 
set limits around a mountain to make it sacred. So the Lord said to him, Go down and come up along with Aaron. But do not let the priests and the people break through to come up to the Lord, else he will break out against them. So Moses went down to the people and spoke to them.